I made an extension for the automatic one GUI. I, it calculates normal maps. You can try it out and let's show some examples. I'll talk about the installations, some of the features, then we'll talk about the limitations and where it might not be so great. You can make normal maps with AI images now. And that's really exciting. So I guess I should just kind of do an overview of what a normal map is. So basically, if you have some sort of 2D surface and you put a normal map on top of it, that's showing kind of the direction of each surface and where it should be pointed. And so that means that you can start doing things like light reflections. And when the camera moves, it can start kind of emulating what the reflections on the surface should be. It works pretty well for shallow surfaces, but once you get to a certain depth, it starts breaking down because there's like the distance that light travels and it's always just hitting that surface. So it's only really faking 3D, but it does do a pretty good job for things that are kind of like rough, like the surface of bricks or rough surfaces, or there's surfaces that are shallow in comparison to the rest of the image, then a lot of times they work really well. So there's a lot of situations where they're useful. Um, they're also just useful at layering on top of things. And one of the other things that I've, because I've been doing some stuff with UV mapping uh, and doing retexturing of it, and it works pretty well with that too. So like these kind of like tower-like structures that I have, uh, you can add the UV mapping to it and it just gives like an extra level of detail. And I don't know, there's a lot of potential here. So the installation step is pretty straightforward. You just go to the extensions part, uh, you enter the URL that it's on, and yeah, it should just kind of work right away. Once you have it installed, it's going to just be a script to take. So uh, you can just kind of find it under the normal maps option, and then it'll just generate the normal maps after the actual image is created. So if you wanted to just do the normal maps without creating a new image, like if you had an image already, go into image to image, set the strength value to zero, and then it'll just send it right through. And then that'll allow you to create normal maps without changing the image. In terms of the options that we can choose, there's the Sowell gradient and the Gaussian blurring. And so these are very helpful for if you get a really grainy uh, normal map. Most of the time you kind of need to set these a little bit higher, but if you start moving these too high, then it starts destroying a lot of this finer detail of the image. So that's something that I kind of need to figure out some way of doing it in a more automated way. But uh, for now, that's just, uh, you kind of have to mess around a little bit with those. Yeah, and then it should just output a normal map with your normal output. And yep, that's about it. <laughs> so once you have your normal maps, you can test them out in Blender. So an easy way of doing that is just to create a plane in Blender and then add a material and then add for the base color an image. So that'll be your colored image. And then with the going into the shading section, if you just copy that image over and then um, change it so that it, the second image is pointing towards the normal. Uh, and then you can change that image to the normal map and that'll give you a way of experimenting with this. So now you'll have a plane that should be able to react to lighting changes. So if you move the light around um, and then also if you change the angle of the camera, that'll also show. Uh, and you can change the materials. So if you like add to remove sheen and metallicity and those things, those also get combined with a normal map. So those will be affected as well. And so you can get some really neat effects right out of the gate with that. Um, also, if you wanted to animate the lights, a uh, really nice way of doing that is just to parent a light to uh, empty and then twist the empty around. And that gives you some really nice rotating lights that you can kind of see what happens. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's how you use these normal maps. So as for the limitations, uh, the really big one is that often Oftentimes it's better to just use the raw depth map and then do relighting that way. Uh, so I have this example here that compares the kind of normal map versus the uh, using the full depth information. And so you can see that the depth looks a lot better. Uh, so this entire extension is based off of a pre-existing extension by Thigate that has to do with depth mapping. And that is an amazing repo. So uh, you should definitely check that one out as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> And super big thanks to Thigate. So this extension is live, so you can try it out right away. Um, I hope you do try it out. And if you have any sort of issues or any sort of comments about it, uh, let me know. Uh, thanks and have a good day.